So this is another unboxing video of yet another vintage computer kit uh, that showed up in the mail today that I thought we'd go ahead and open up and take a look at what comes in the box. And then of course in future videos we'll be going through and doing an assembly and test etc. of the system. Take a peek at what I've got in here. I'm going to pull the packing slip out. Don't need to see the packing slip. Of course, full of peanuts. And you can see that this is the Altair Duino. It, it's an Altair 8800 uh, emulator with uh, pretty much full, well, full size front panel. I don't know if it's full size or not, but it's pretty close. Uh, I think I read in the documentation or the notes online it was full size. We'll find out here. This looks to be a little more complex a kit, a little more assembly work required. Put it together. Uh, don't see anything else in the box. Let's go ahead and take a peek and see what we've got here. So, here to just cut. Of course it's tougher than it should be. I don't want to scar the back of the case here up. I'm just I'm not finding the spot where the wrap ends. So I guess we'll just keep working up to the exacto. Maybe using the sharp side of the blade, it just doesn't feel very sharp for some reason. Now we're getting there. It does not want to be unwrapped. There we go. Oh, everything's going to dump out. Flip it over here. So we've got the uh, front panel. Looks like it's black. Plexiglass, maybe, uh, with a white silk screen. It looks very nice. Uh, looks very much what, in my mind, the front panel looks like. It's got this decal here, which, of course, goes across the bottom, which makes it look even mo more like the uh, Altair 8800. Pretty cool. Uh, this is going to be a good-looking addition my stuff. There are peanuts here. Oh, poor little wine and dog downstairs wants to be upstairs. We have a bag of LEDs and spacers used to get the LEDs up off the PCB to the proper height for the uh, front panel. Bag of miscellaneous hardware. There's a uh, looks like a uh, SD adapter here, and that looks like an RS232 board. There's an SD card in there, power jack, standoffs, etc. We've got the switches that compromise the front panel. There are just regular double pull, double throw toggles, and then there's these red ones which are momentary action. So up or down, momentary. USB cable. 
Oh, that dog's down there just acting like he's dying. Looks like the uh, Arduino for it. Arduino Duo. So again, this is an emulated system with the addition of this nice front panel. Uh, the back panel for it where the RS-232 power, etc. come through. Uh, the nice little uh, RS-232 interface for true serial communications, driver transistors, VLEDs, the packs of resistors. I'm going to assume this is probably, a, well, I don't know what this is. I can say it's switching power supply. Oh, it is a switching power supply. Okay. Nice. Very, I think it's identical to the one we had in the other kit. Oh, that dog downstairs sounds like he's dying. And the main PCB, which looks really nice. Uh, very sweet. As I learned on the, the previous uh, uh, Kenback kit we build, there's a component load on both sides of the PC board, and that's true with this guy as well. There's a couple components on the back, connectors and stuff on the back, as well as the front of the board. Nice looking board. It looks like it's well manufactured. Decent layout. Uh, nice high quality board. It comes with this uh, bamboo case. I believe this is bamboo. That looks to be well made. I'm happy with that. It looks nice. Uh, it's got an opening pre cut in the back where the uh, USB, etc., and power come through. There's a little slot here, which will be for if I want the SD card accessible. In the back of the machine, there's a little jumper cable here that I know mounts to a couple spots here. It goes from on the PC board here to over here to bring some signals across that apparently didn't get routed or I, I'm just not sure uh, why they took that approach, but again, no big deal. So nice looking board, nice looking case. 1K ohm and 10K ohm resistors. There's a bunch that go on the board. Again, the LEDs, spacers, large number of switches, driver transistors, I believe, for the LEDs, USB cable, miscellaneous hardware. There's a couple resistors, capacitors, etc., in here as well. Uh, the mechanical pieces. We look at this a second ago. The uh, we're getting USB off the uh, uh, Arduino to the back panel and a, a true RS-232 you know, converter, the Arduino itself that runs the emulation. I guess I will drop the front panel back down in and set this aside. I need to protect that front panel and keep it nice and pretty. And while we're here, we'll take a quick look at the book. Uh, very much like the uh, book for the uh, Kenback. I like the fact, again, it's spiral bound. That's a nice feature. And this looks like it follows definitely along with the assembly instructions up on the website. You know, you're mounting resistors, driver transistors. There's miscellaneous hardware to get you know a few remaining components, such as resistors, capacitors, uh, the capacitor and resistor on the back of the PCB. Uh, setting up the pin headers for the Arduino to dock down onto. Mounting the switches and using the front panel as an alignment guide. Uh, LED orientation, that ribbon cable we looked at, the jumper some signals across. Uh, I will want the micro SD card to poke out the back of the machine. We'll follow those instructions so I can add software if I decide to without taking it apart. Uh, some of the mechanical assembly. Pretty nice. Looks like a nice little detailed manual. I've come to expect that from the previous kit we built. Uh, I will probably do a little extra work on the cables for the power and audio into it. Just do some shrink tubing and make that look a little nicer. Although honestly what he has you do here is perfectly fine. Uh, looking forward to this. This will be a really fun play. So anyhow, there's an unboxing video for this, and in a future video, we'll begin the assembly. So, uh, see you in the next video. We'll talk soon.